Okay, so, uh, this base is quite easy to make. It's very, uh, basic, as, as a lot of people would say. Um, so, the post is like the main show of the, of the whole thing. Cause like without it, it's like super weak. So, yeah, let me explain what's happening. So, uh, I have an EQ that's taking away some lows, but we'll get to that. Um, the main thing about like most respaces is they have to do with the phase. So if you have two sine waves or two any waves and they're like pitched apart, they'll keep like oscillating between each other and uh, they'll come together and then create constructive uh, interference, which makes them louder. And then uh, deconstructive interference. I don't remember the right term for that, but then uh, it like is like the opposite shape. So it just cancels each other out completely. So I just have two sine waves or two whatever waves I'm using, uh, which is controlled with macro two. And then I have the detune linked to this knob right here. And that just controls how fast or slow it's going. And this is very handy to automate uh, later down the line when you want to like be very nuanced. But then on envelope two, I'm just doing some uh, like downwards pluck because I like the effect of having like a snap in the beginning. So if I if I like play that with like some of the post, uh, you'll hear it sounds like this versus that. Where the first one, like this one's very soft. It's, it starts very soft, and the other one's very like aggressive. So you get more of a punch. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the post. So the first distortion that I'm doing is just to combine the two waves and have them intermodulate with each other. And intermodulation just means that they're like causing amplitude modulation between each other. So they're like colliding in a way. So without it, you can still hear that's like uh, modulating just because of the waves being like the same and then like oscillating between each other. But then I'm bringing that up with an OTT and then taking out some mids because usually the mids can cause a lot of distortion. Like it, it isn't, isn't very nice to distort with it. So even with just that and the distortion alone uh, and without like my unspurser, you already have like a very basic idea of a Reese. Now this conv convolution right here makes it so that there's space around it and adds noise so that there's uh, more going on. And then after that, I have an OTT, which is just on full, doesn't really matter. It just pushes it into the compressor more, I mean into the saturator more. It makes it thick. But now you can hear it's like all on one timing it's like not it's not wet enough so i have this unspurser here which is just a bunch of eqs and that's basically just doing disperser like the disperser effect and just shifting all of that low end away from like the high end and everything's just split apart and that just makes it wet so you can choose to either do like the dry signal and then do like a bandpass. And this is just a bandpass with same OTT, same distortion. No, no difference. So having this kind of template set up, uh, now I can like switch between a bunch of different respaces with just one patch. Oh, also, um, it's a good idea to filter away any of the, the high end before going into any of the processing, because sometimes the high end gets a bit much, especially if you're distorting a lot. So I find just having a little like low pass at the top end helps a lot. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that was kind of crazy about like going through everything, but like not very organized, but whatever. I hope you guys learned something. <laughs> so yeah. Peace. Let me know if uh, you guys need more info.